Melville. everybody it's Linda again uh, with LL Creation Studio I have been trying to catch up on my videos I've had my journals sitting over here uh, on my counter uh, waiting to do videos for and I haven't gotten around to them in, in quite a while so like this one I have a piece of paper inside that tells me it's copper industrial and it's 128 pages and it looks like a 5 by 8 and it's four signatures. Um, it's a beautiful journal. Uh, got a lot of copper accents to it and it is chunky uh, for its little size. Uh, and so before I even open it up I, I didn't write on the paper what paper this came from inside so it could be from a bought purchase paper pack but if I am mistaken you anybody that knows or recognizes a paper if that is not true you can drop me a line down below and I'll be more than happy to uh, come back and put it up in the top uh, uh, and give some uh, acknowledgments for the paper but here on the cover this is a uh, professional board. It's not the hardwood board so it's a little bit lighter. Uh, it's a and then I covered it in this fabric that you can barely see going around here. Uh, it's, it's some of my 100% uh, cotton uh, pre-Civil War fabric and then I embellished it to the hilt on the top here. I have uh, these beautiful copper uh, corner guards here on the front and no it didn't do the back and the um, spine has been covered it's a hidden spine has been covered in this heavy card stock that looks like uh, the that it belonged to the book and then I have layers of uh, the paper from the pack inside and then this is copper painted and this is copper tape uh, and this is a copper embellishment right there on the medallion right here on the front and then this is a pocket and part of the paper I think this is a paper pack that I purchased I just can't believe somebody uh, designed this on Etsy but I could be wrong and then we have a lot of script pages here and so uh, you can see the copper paper back here that I have painted the cardstock so let's open her up again it's copper industrial and 128 pages and she's uh, 5 by 8 if I'm wrong on that I'll correct it before it goes uh, underneath the, the YouTube and Etsy here on the front I have part of the uh, paper pack and I made a hmm, it looks like a triple pocket this has the top a little one here with two little tags in it and another one here all my tags and everything are usually blank on the back side and they're usually made out of cardstock that you can use uh, write on them I just love this paper looking at it I mean it's just gorgeous the way that it's layered itself and then I have an envelope that with a copper uh, I purchased some copper clips off of Amazon to go with this journal and then I have a 4x6 folded up cardstock in the envelope put that back strip down the uh, paper on this khaki paper 
a lot of details on this paper. I did a lot of the strips like washi tape but it's, it's paper that you cut out and, and you glue on the edges. And then another pocket here, a little strip. I mean, and I did some t tabs on everything out of the paper. Another one. This is really heavy, nice cardstock. I love these tabs. I love the paper. Like I said, it's been months since I've seen this. And sometimes I get real excited about it. And sometimes, you know, it's just so-so. But this is very unique and different paper. Excuse me just for a minute. Turn that off. I thought I had my phone off before I re started recording. There you go. I mean, look at the the details on this paper. Another washi tape. Another little stash. And here I uh, use some um, tape just to tape down in the centers. It goes along with this look and that uh, tape will age. Another little pocket here. I didn't want to cover up the pretty ladies. Another little tuck spot. Heavy card stock there. Old world paper. Mm. Another envelope. Instead of sticking it somewhere, I just put them where you can use them. You can glue them onto a page if you want to or you can just keep uh, clipping them with these little copper clips. More washi paper. Two tags in here with their little pullouts. A lot of fun on the papers. Oh, I love this combination, the green and the khaki. And we have another envelope which will have a card in it. No need to keep showing the same thing, right? Another pocket, another center, another tux point. point. Here's one that is empty for you to put something in. Gorgeous paper. Wow. Very impressed with the paper myself. Look at this. These hinges are just phenomenal. If I can get that out. Oh, don't tell me I glued it in. I don't have to work on that one. Another tuck spot. Another one.
wish I knew or could remember where I got this paper because I would definitely want to use it again. But I think I put this journal together last year sometimes because it's been sitting over there and I just keep passing it up. Don't know why. And here's the same uh, triple pocket on the back and here you can get a better look at the the luscious fabric here and it's a little fringy going on. So this is a very flexible spine. Also you saw how flat that it would lay for you while you were writing. Uh, so there you go. Uh, this is Copper Industrial and I had put this with it. It will come with a tie of this copper but I had cut it too short uh, tie on the front so I'm gonna have to cut another one but wouldn't isn't that pretty this copper sorry silk with that journal so I love this and I hope that you enjoyed watching it too and I thank you very much for watching and you have a good day stay safe stay in and take care of yourself and your family bye bye